What is up guys, Zalger here, back in Outward. In this video, we're going to be getting more money so that we can buy the Philosopher skill tree. So, let's head out and get some money. Hello! How are you doing today? Welcome to my stream! Right now, we're just trying to get some money so that we can buy the Philosopher skill tree. Let's try heading out this way. Oh, that's empty. Let's actually try going to the hyena den. Kind of empty out here. Oh, maybe the I think the hyena den is this way. Maybe there'll be some hyenas out here. There's one. Still relatively empty. Usually there's like a whole bunch of hyenas out here. Oh, I hear fighting. Oh. oh, here's the whole bunch of hyenas. Okay, then we can take these two out. Alrighty. Drink some water and eat some Gabri tartines. We got a whole bunch of Gabri tartines. We can start chasing them after we finish collecting these guys. Oh, we got another Pearl Bird mask. This one's definitely going into the legacy chest. Let's see, where'd they go?
I don't think I'm going to find them. We can go down to the beach. Maybe clear out some mantis shrimps. We can also fish a bit. Pearl bird. Be kind of fun if we got another pearl bird mask. Let's see if we can sleep a bit and we can collect the blue sand. Let's just clear out the beach first and then we'll gather the blue sand on the way back. Okay, let's sleep. Um, we probably don't really need to sleep. Let's repair. Got a mantis shrimp right over here. Let's see. Let's take out our fishing harpoon and then let's repair it. Let's see, 
Oh, there it is. And then, I guess we can still heal up our fishing harpoon. And again, what is it this time? Another mantis shrimp. We're just farming mantis shrimps at this point. Okay, let's actually try to make it till night time. I wonder if it's going to be too cold for us. Hopefully we don't catch a cold. Maybe we should have put a fire next to us. Oh, nice. We got a cold. Well, that's fine. We'll just sleep it off in Sierzo after this. We can drink some water. Eat some Gabri. Whoops. Eat some Gabri tartines. There we go. We should be warming up now. A starfish cave. Get some more blue sand. And since we have to recover from the cold anyway, we might as well refresh the area. <coughs> Sleep for seven days. Ouch. It hit me from a... Sniped me. I didn't think it was going to snipe me like that.
All right, let's just head back, gather all the blue sand we can. And then we can head back to Sierzo. I also forget to turn on my, my lantern. I think my screen is a lot lighter than it is on the stream. So it actually looks like it's not that dark when I'm in game. But I think when it comes to the stream, it actually looks pretty dark. Two of them. Not enough stamina. Oh, we got three of them. We just have to juggle them. whole bunch of them. Okay, and last one. There we go. That's all four. Now we can head back to Sierzo. Gabberry tartines are about to expire. Might as well make uh, some of these Gabberry Tartines into travel rations. Oops, how much money do I have? 400? It's not quite enough. So we'll probably, maybe we'll have to get more salt. Let me check my salt levels. Oh, we have a lot of salt, actually. Oh, we can sell. Greetings, friend. Let's sell this. We can sell that, that, and these. Let's sell these. We already know how to make alpha jerky, so we can sell that. Okay. Let's see if we can make some more gold. What so we're lighter. Right. Hey. 
Hey there. Alrighty. Let's cook some things up. Let's head down. Let's make some meat stew. And then we can make some ocean fricasse. And some Whoops. Okay, that was an accident. Oh, me oh, I messed up. I accidentally turned some of my ocean for cases. I turned two into three travel rations, which means I lost two silver off that. Because each ocean fricasse sells for four. Now that I think about it, the ocean fricasse is not worth it. Because I think it uses larva eggs. And larva eggs sell for four by themselves. So I'm turning, I think, a seaweed, which sells for one, I believe. A fish which sells for one, a raw salmon, and uh... Oh, but I guess I get three of them, so it's actually worth it. So I actually get 12, 12 silver out of it instead of the six. I guess it doubles my silver. Is there something you need? Uh, I think that's it. And then let's head back inside and sleep. Get rid of our cold, get rid of our hunger. And reset the world. That's one. That's two. We just have to get to seven. That's four. Five. 
six. And this should be the last one, seven. Nice, now we should head out. Loot Sierzo again. Just clear out the area. And then I think we just have the three fishing spots left, and then we can head out of Sierzo and start um, hunting as well. Oh, free water skin, nice. We can start hunting again and collecting more vegetables and gabberries and crab eye seeds. I think this is the last one. Okay, let's head out. Then we can eat some Gabri tartines and drink some water. And we'll just continue collecting gabberries. Got a hyena up here, ready to be hunted. <laughs> then we'll go to Blister Burrow, get some uh, blood mushrooms from there. After that, we can go to Complex Mountain and get more blood mushrooms. Since we have so many uh, gravel beetles, we might as well put them to use and get more um, blood mushrooms so that we can make some life potions. We have six life potions, which is a decent amount, but I mean, it can't hurt to have more. Just put them in storage and then grab them later. Alrighty. 
Oh. An iron great axe. See if we can find some blood mushrooms around this area. Another cooking pot. I'm not seeing any I'm not seeing any blood mushrooms. Oh, here's some. Yeah, those are blood mushrooms over there. I think that's all the blood mushrooms in here. I think there's only two. So let's just head out. And we can go to Complex Mountain. See, we ran out of water. I wonder if there's going to be some bandits down here. Hopefully they'll have bread. Oh, here they are. See if we get lucky. Bread. Yes, we got lucky. Oh. More gabberries over here. just collect this tree trunk as well as the crab eyes over there we don't really need anything there we could sell the lantern actually for four silver so I'll do that I'll take the lantern
And let's see. I think this is the last one around this area. And then we can grab some of these gabberries. and head towards Conflux Mountain. We'll use the Blue Chamber Conflux Path. Get some blood mushrooms. And maybe we can hunt the Black Pearl Bird actually. I think they have some blood mushrooms as well. Got another water skin, love to see that. We have a lot of water skins, actually. I don't think I can fill all of them up. Be too heavy. some meat we could turn this great axe into a fang weapon decrease our weight a little bit And another Then we'll head down We can drink more water Just an abundance of gabberries. Let's see how much we got. 27 gabberries. Nice. Oh, here's a termit. And another gabberry. And more gabberries here. More turnips. And we'll head up to the Blue Chamber Complex Path. More gabberries. Then we'll head down on this side. I guess we'll have to. We'll. 
we'll finish the blue chamber complex path, head back to Sierzo, release our stuff and sell our stuff, and then come back and mine the mana stones on uh, the complex mountain. And then after that, we can head over. Let's head over to um, the pylon, the vigil pylon after that. Alrighty. Jump down. Blood mushroom. Getting a little heavy. Knock it down. I think there might be something in here. Mana stone. And then we'll just continue searching the area for blood mushrooms. Let's drink some water. Let's see if there's anything over here. I think that's closer to where the entrance. So let's head this way first so that we can see if there's anything. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Let's eat another Gabberry Tartine. And then let's gather these green mushrooms. No blood mushrooms here though. I'm getting a lot of gravel beetles though. I guess we'll go this way. What do we get? 
Great Astral Potion, we already know that. We can sell that. Let's go down here. Two mana stones. Oh, nice, we got a Hackmanite. Maybe we can take out this one. Let's see. Let's use this. Okay, that just does that. I think they're just going to heal themselves up. Generate our stamina. There we go. Six. See what's over here. Nothing. Also nothing. Huh. Guess I went the wrong way. More water. Oh, I think this is the way I went. This is where the elemental particle or the elemental was is there anything over here no okay how about here oh there's a trog chest Okay, I'm too heavy. It's probably all these mana stones that I got. Let's see, let's take that out. Also a lot of these rags. I have a lot of rags. Oh, we're under attack. So 
So let's get rid of some of these mana stones. Okay, now we can move a little bit better. See if we can get a Hackmanite. Nope. Oh, we got a Gravel Beetle. Oh, an Iron Great Hammer. Oh, there's no way I have enough weight for this. Oh. Let's turn this into a Fang Weapon. Actually, let's get these star mushrooms. We might be able to sell our stuff, come back, collect the mana stones again, and then sell those so that we don't have to lose any silver. Because I think we dropped about 16 mana stones, and each one gives us 6 silver, I believe. So that's 96 silver we're losing out because we dropped the mana stones. Star Mushrooms 9, we have 9. Oh, we also have a lot of potions. Let's see, how much does the Star Mushroom weigh? 0. 0.2, and this weighs 0. 0.5. And these ones weigh 0. 0.5. So actually, turning these into... Turning it into Astral Potions is cost-effective for our weight. But we're also going for Philosopher, so we might not need that many Astral Potions if I'm being completely honest. Oh uh, man, now that I think about it, I, ha I have so many Astral Potions. I'm debating whether to get Warrior Monk. Warrior Monk gives me plus 10 for each of these. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Okay, let's sell. We can sell some of these. Actually, let's keep these. We can sell some of these. Sell that, sell these.
There we go. We're still overweight. But now we can actually run around a little bit. So, let's head back, collect those uh, mana stones, and then we can sell them as well. I wonder if there's any wood in here. Question is, where did I drop them? I dropped them back here. Oh, I think up down here. Oh, no, no, no. Over here. Oh, does it not save? Oh wait, are these the mana stones? Oh yeah, here they go. Here they are. Okay. Now we can head back to the fourth watcher. Then we'll slowly trudge on towards the fourth watcher. Let's see, Gabri's cost point one. I wonder how much Gabri Jam costs. So point two each. Yeah, I'm still debating. Like I'm I'm getting so many mana potions that I feel like I could probably not use the Philosopher and be fine. Feel free to use one of our boats to return to the surface. Instead of Philosopher, I would go Warrior Monk. And use Master of Motion.
Hmm. It's kind of tough. Still debating. Let's head back to Sierzo. Oh, we got Bandit Captain. Let's take him out. fun though. I feel like I would like to spam that. Let's see, we don't need that. We don't need that. spikes. Uh, we can make wooden spikes whenever we want. We don't need to carry those around. Oh, nice. We got a medium ruby and a small sapphire. I think I'll still go Philosopher. Let's see how much how much do I have? Nine, twelve, basically four hundred, so thirteen. 13 gold. I don't think that's enough just yet. Well, we can make a few horror weapons. I don't see the Wendigo or the Black Pearl Bird anywhere. Let's, uh... Let's make some food, actually. Or potions. Let's see. Each of these are one in, or one half. How much is that? That's point one. 
and how much are the blood mushrooms 0.2 so let's not make any life potions but let's make some astral potions whoops And each one of these is 0.1. How much is a charge? I only have three waters left. So I'll keep the three waters. I'll keep the remaining waters for drinking so that we can keep our stamina up. Oh, another pearl bird. I don't think I'm fast enough to catch it, so we'll just, uh... Kill it that way. Just Jinx and Hex. What is it called? Torment. Jinx and Torment. Is that another pearl bird over there? Oh, it's a dead one. Drink more water. Oh, I have these things I can... Lighten our load a little bit.
Oh, our lantern light went out. Let's see. Okay, well, I replenish the Explorer Lantern only for the, what is it, the Coil Lantern? Coil Lantern to show up. Alrighty, we made it back to Sierzo. Let's see. How much salt do we have? One salt. That's not enough. We need water. We need salt. Let me go up to the house and put some stuff away first so that we'll have enough weight to carry this salt and this water. We can put these, or I can take this back. We're gonna sell that. Uh, put some of these away. These. I think that should be good enough. some water and get ready to create salt okay we can sell some of our stuff. Is there something you need? Let's see. Okay. I'll do that for now, and then we'll start cooking. Some meat stew. Then let's make some astral potions, life potions, toxic charges, incendiary charges. Make some more meat stew. Gabberry jam. Tartines. Ocean fricasse. 
try mushroom bars. And then we can turn our meat stews into travel rations. Then we can turn the miner's omelets into travel rations as well. And the tournament pottage as well. And then we can also turn the dried mushroom bars into travel rations. Then we can go sell our stuff. And while we're out selling stuff, let's also buy some bread. Sell that. Sell these. We'll probably sell some of our gravel beetles. And then we have five. So we can buy five breads. And I forgot to cook these crab eyes so we can turn those crab eyes into travel rations. Or not travel rations into charge, uh, uh, toxic charges. some gabri tartines and we can make these gabri tartines there's no way we're going to eat all these gabri tartines in time so we're just going to turn them into travel rations and we can sell them oh we're out of salt how many tartines we have nine tartines that's good enough Okay, let's go put our money away and put some of these astral potions away. Probably put some of these life potions away as well. I think that's good enough. And we can go sell our stuff. Is there something you need? So how much do we have now? 20? We're getting close.
Alrighty. We can head back out. And then this time we can go up Conflict's Mountain and try to get as much Hackmanite as we can. Get this pearl bird. Get these bandits. Actually, we can go let's go get that shell horror and also let's see what we can do around the visual pylon after we finish up uh, at the complex mountain. We'll just head up and then instead of going to the blue chamber complex path, we'll just continue up all the way to the top. And it looks like we're out of water. Got some bandits up here. We can take them out. It's just one.
Oh, we got a gravel beetle from that. We got a hackmanite, nice. We're gonna have to repair our mining pick soon. Let's see. Nice. Okay, now we can head down and let's go to um, Ghost Pass first so that we can get the Shell Horror and then after that we can go to the uh, visual pylon. Nice. Didn't even stand a chance. See, we'll head down this way. I wonder, can we just go straight down this way? Might be a little dangerous. Yeah, that looks a little steep. Okay, I think this is good enough. We can go to Ghost Pass.
Oh, we got a Wendigo. Let's see. We can fight the Wendigo. Let's give ourselves a fire rag. Okay, let's fight this Wendigo. Ouch. All right. We took a few hits, a couple hits there. Let's eat some meat. And then we can go and take on the shell whore. Another great axe. Ounder. I don't think I'm ever going to actually sell horror weapons. Not that I can't. I told myself during this run that I won't be doing the horror weapon farming route. Which, I mean, if I do sell the horror weapons that I make, it's technically not the horror weapon farming route because I'm just... Staying in the Chersonese for the for this. Let's see. Give myself a poison rag. Nice. Let's see, where is this shell horror? There it is. Let's make some tripwire traps. I think that should be enough. Uh, 
We'll give ourselves a bolt rag. And we'll also give ourselves wind of sigil wind. Missed. Nice. Okay, now let's head over to the Vigil Pylon. I forgot I ran out of stamina regen. More fish. Okay, let's check out what this place has to offer us. Do I have mana stones on me? Yes, I do.
We got another one up here. fire one here. Oh, I'm burning. Okay. Pause, 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 pause. Time out, time out. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Pause, 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 pause. Drink water. No. Okay, that did not work out that well. Did we get saved by Gep? Nice. Ooh, Pearl Bird. Let's see, water. Cabberry. Thirteen. We we'll need some jerky. Okay, let's head back. This time I'll use a varnish, a spiritual varnish. I think that should help. Oh, we got hyenas. Okay, okay, okay. What did I just drink? I have no idea what I just drank. Let's see. Let's drink a bitter spice tea. Let's get one of these life potions going. Okay. Let's get a spiritual varnish. Now we're ready. There we go. Spiritual varnish makes it so much easier.
I got a key. Where does the key go to? Oh, we got an ornate chest. Learn how to make a bolt varnish. Yes. Okay. Now we can head back down. Back to Sierzo. We can empty some of these so we're not so heavy. Oh, can we go in there? Let's see what's in there. Vigil Tomb. Oh, it looks like there's ghosts. Or just one ghost, I guess. Ooh. I'm pretty sure we are not going to be able to carry this. Yeah, we're too heavy. Oh, there's another ghost. Hit it while it's down. Oh, we're just gonna have to turn this half plate armor into iron scrap. Okay. Oh, wait, we can go up. I think that's it. Okay. Now time to head back to Sierzo. I haven't learned Mana Ward yet. I think I'll probably just uh, sell some horror weapons since it's not technically the horror weapon farm. <clears throat> but I don't know. Do you guys think it's cheating if I sell some horror weapons?
Oh, so slow. Let's see. What do I not need? I can drop these. Can drop these. That should be good enough, I think. We're walking at a decent pace now. And of course, I just go on to grab some more stuff. I see gab berries and I have to collect. Uh, no. I won't collect the Termit. Termits are too heavy. Do I have any star mushrooms? Yeah, but I have a lot of Termits. It's probably it's chasing me. Drink some water. Honestly, if I'm not going to sell horror weapons, I don't know why I'm carrying these two-handed, heavy, two-handed weapons with me all the all the way back to Sierzo. I think I have maybe four or five now, just sitting in my storage, waiting, waiting to be sold. The Gabberries respawn. Did I spend that much time outside of Sierzo? Or did I just miss this one Gabberry bush? Oh no. That one's also filled. I actually spent that much time outside Sierzo. Is it because I died? I wonder how much time passed when I died. I wasn't paying attention. I was just so shocked that I died. I was like, no, how could I? And 
Honestly, I thought I could get that water out in time. I didn't think I was going to burn so fast. But nope. I got scar scold scalded scalded I got burnt it put me on a roast roasted me over a fire Welcome to my stream How are you doing today I just got back from going to the uh, Vigil Pylon and I actually died. I got wrecked. That Molten uh, Golem launched its fire at me and I burned to death. I was trying to get some water out in time but I didn't get it in time. I just burned and continued burning. As I was drinking my water I died. And then we're just heading back to Sierzo to sell our stuff. We're a little heavy. But <clears throat> you know how it goes. Even though we're heavy, we always got to collect some more stuff. I'm still debating whether to get Philosopher or Warrior Monk. What do you think I should get? We'll just sell some of our stuff. Greetings, friend. Let's see. Ah, we can keep the saber. Keep it as a keepsake. Let's see. Get some gold from that. And then let's head home. Let's see how much salt we have. One salt. We can get some more salt. Okay, and then we have 6 meat and 19 gabberry, that's 13, but we have 8, so we have 16 actually, so we'll buy 4 breads, and then we can release some of this water. Can I help you? Four breads on this side. Oh, perfect. He has four breads exactly. Then we'll just head home and create some uh, cooking and alchemy stuff.
I'll make some grilled crab eye seeds. Then we can make some Cirzo ceviche, uh, some ocean fricasse, uh, some meat stew. We'll use the turnips though. And then Gabri jam. And Gabri tartines. And we'll turn these meat stews into travel rations. And let's see, we made six, so 18. Okay, that should be it. And then we can make some Toxic charges and astral potions. Oh, we can make some bolt varnishes actually. Sure. Toxic charges. And great astral potions. Okay. And let's put some of our stuff away we can put this 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 and put some of these away um, put this this oh we'll keep these the gold we can put away and then uh, I think that's good for now we can go sell our stuff And let's see how much we can get. My guess is about is 200. So let's see, let's sell these, 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 and sell some of these, and sell these. Yeah, about 200. 196, that's not bad. And let's head back home. Let's see how much money we have so far. We have 19 gold plus 608 silver. Nice. We can go to sleep. Alrighty. Well, thank you for joining me today. Um, we did not end up getting the Philosopher skill tree yet. Uh, I'm still debating whether to get the Philosopher skill tree or the Warrior Monk skill tree. So let me know in the comments below um, whether which one I should get. And I hope you enjoyed the live stream or if you see this later, I hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you later.